We finally have the results from the previous community map project survey and also another survey is here that focuses on concept design. I'll be covering that in today's video and I did have a plan to cover the new weapons and CTE right now. But I think I'm going to save those for when they actually get textured and make an entire video on them. Besides, I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about them by now anyway. So firstly, the results from the previous poll have been released, and I'll throw them up on your screen right now. So as you can see, we have a bar graph with some of the points of interest Dice LA gave us to pick from. It goes from top to bottom, and in order from least to most popular, so obviously on the bottom we have Waterfall leading the pack with more than 55% of the votes. The Ancient Temple Ruins come in a close second with about 50% of the votes, then Ghost Town Prison Camp and a Military Facility trail behind those two for our top 5. So there you have it, those are the top 5 that are going to be included in this map in terms of design. I'm really looking forward to the Waterfall and Ghost Town, those two sound really really interesting to me. Anyway, what do we get to vote for in this third poll? Well, we get to vote for three map design concepts. The three design concepts illustrate a map layout where the flags will go, and each one has a unique backstory that tells us a little bit about the map and why the US and China are fighting there. So concept A is all about China rallying to stop insurgents transporting their weapons and supplies through the Burmese jungle river networks. The United States moves in to protect their interests, and as you can see on the concept design layout on your screen right now, it looks okay, but I did not vote for this one. I voted for C, which I'm going to show you guys in just a few minutes. So you can see the Chinese spawn is on the left side and the US spawn is on the right side. And in between those two spawns are five flags. A is the jungle clearing, B is the waterfall, C are the temple ruins, D is a village, and E is a fishing outpost. And this map actually is similar to how Gwalin Peaks is designed from China Rising, and since China Rising is by far one of the least played DLCs of the five, I don't think a whole lot of people are going to vote for this one. So as for concept B, the Chinese-American war is nearly to its end. Some of China's allies have remained reluctant to turn over NATO prisoners of war to their home countries. The United States is forced to react, so pretty interesting backstory along with a unique map design concept. Again, this should appear on your screen somewhere for you guys to see. So there's a US spawn on the bottom there with the Chinese spawn to the right hand side. Now it's kind of weird to have the two spawns so close to each other. I would have thought that they would have put them on the direct opposites of each other for balance, and what worries me the most about this decision is the fact that you could just go towards the Chinese or US spawn as soon as the round starts, and both factions will kind of meet somewhere at the D flag. Anyway, there are again 5 points on this concept that include A for the village, B for the temple ruins, C for the temple annex, D for the prisoner of war camp, and E for the munitions dump. So I can see this being something that a lot of people vote for, but again, I love C's concept in its entirety. So finally, we have concept design C. This is about Indonesian radicals developing a new strain of virus for chemical warfare, and a conflict flares up over access to samples and research data. So it kind of has that final stand feel to it, with futuristic and scientific warfare in mind, which I absolutely love. So taking a closer look at this concept, you can see that this map is very linear as compared to the previous two I just showed you. And I don't know what it is about linear maps, but I just love them to death. Propaganda, for example, was a fantastic map. There was always action happening everywhere you went, so as you can see the US spawn is on the top there while the Chinese spawn is on the bottom. Very equally balanced map in my opinion. As for the five flags, they include A for the medical clinic, B for the waterfall, C for the ghost town, D for the logging camp, and E for the jungle clearing. So if you guys loved propaganda from Dragon's Teeth, I think you guys might like this one the most. Like I said earlier, I'm a huge fan of linear styled maps, and I think that this one will be the most balanced as compared to the other two concepts. So those are what we have to pick from in this third poll. If you guys want to vote, which I highly encourage you guys to do, then I will leave a link in the description to where you can do so. Also, I have some good news in regards to who actually gets the new weapons, and I think this community map as well. So if you own Battlefield 4, I'm pretty sure that these new weapons are coming with the spring patch at the end of May, if they don't get delayed, that is. And as for the map, Dice LA is still in the very early pre-alpha stages of its design, but I think that this will be the last poll and then they'll finally start developing the map itself. So if everything goes as planned, I'm thinking we'll see it mid-summer time or early fall time this year. So quite a ways away right now, but definitely worth the wait. But that is the end of this video, guys. Remember to go vote for your favorite map concept. Link is in the description down below. 
Also, let me know, what would be your perfect map to play on if you were developing one on your own? Would you want it to be infantry focused or vehicle focused? Thanks for watching, leave me a rating if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.